What is going on everyone, Most Firebrand? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have a sliding phone followed by a hard drive. That is lovely. I need to get that so I need to fix that. But anyway, <coughs> the topic of today's video is on the Steel Series Arctis 3 console, I think console edition at least. Um So it, this isn't gonna be a review. I've already done the review that it was posted about a week ago on my channel. Yeah, it's probably my second video if you go down to upload, second video down most likely. But uh, today, we're going to be going over on how you can take these ear pads off and replace them with the leather ones that SteelSeries sells for I think 15 bucks on their channel, or not on their channel, on their website. So what you're going to want to do is, I mean I don't really think it matters where you grab it, but as long as you grab it like that, just get that little dude out like that. Now this is no. I'm, I'm not sure if it's, it'll come off as easy as that did. I've already taken the right ear pad off. I took it off I think last night to see how easy it was because I am planning on buying the other one soon. But uh, also there's a little, little uh, end end right there. I, I don't know what that's for. Whether that's for headphone or uh, ear pad easiness, but kind of try and get a good angle on this. Uh, There's a little lip right, right there that goes around that that little lip right there. So what you're gonna want to do is take the ear pad, get it around that lip, and get it around the entire thing on the entire headphone. Lovely. Now this actually, when I put the, uh, when, if and when I do buy these uh, leather ear pads for this thing, it will not be the first time I have ever done a uh, ear pad swap, uh, I'd say about mid November, December, somewhere in there. I ordered uh, Brainwave's replacement ear pads for my, uh, Hyper, w w for my old HyperX Cloud. Um, there we go. And, uh, Unless you are using the uh, HyperX Velour earpads, if you have the leather ones on your HyperX headphones, it is a pain to get on. I had to, I ended up actually getting them out and bending them like that. They were much loose after that, so I don't recommend bending the uh, HyperX headphone, or at least HyperX Cloud One headphone. That will uh, mess the fit up and it won't be as tight on your head anymore. But, uh,. They were very comfy after that. They were ten times comfier after that. The standard ear pads are good anyway, but yeah, that's all I really have to say. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't already seen the M40 sniping gameplay, I uploaded it on my channel a couple hours ago because I'm filming this on uh, Saturday, uh, March 9th. If you haven't seen the video I uploaded, I think three hours ago, go check that out. There were some nasty shots I hid in that. I'm normally not that good with a sniper, but that's going to be the end of today's video. So if you enjoyed this, if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in an MWR stream I will most likely end up doing tomorrow or most likely Monday. So, I'm out of here. Fire round out.